What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I mean, we finally killed Dutch. I think that's all that needs to be said. Point blank. That's it. He's dead. Finally. Well, I mean, there are some extra, you know, missions thrown in there, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Had to save two fucking times for this shit to pop up. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old man. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. A <laughs> touch of the old jitters. No, kid. with them? Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I had to... But, but I... But violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What does he say, Sebastian? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not... What we agreed. To. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, Dutch! Professor, get down now! He's there. They killed the star! Austin, you have to get us out of here! Oh, stay down and keep quiet! What is going on here? You won't leave me alone in here, will you? This bro. Let's go! 
Um... Yeah, I look... Safe and sound. Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. We don't kill Dutch. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. The fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. <sighs> No, I'm okay. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh great Jeez. above! Where did he down? throw that? Bro. Hello, Dutch. Bro. Why is no one I concerned about where know. that needle Two is landing? I would be concerned. Here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the Professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boy's here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. Where's That's beautiful, couch? Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna kidding. run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> bro, he says, no, I'm just kidding, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Girl, what the f Like, it's not like we got a gun on them. We're just like, blocking the door. Come on! We can get to the roof this way! Bro, I'm gonna cut it, that man. I get shot. While John! Help me, John! Stay back! Or the teacher gets it! Whoa. <laughs> This isn't helping you, 
because this is just um ridding the I killed someone, I think I killed someone. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Okay. Come on then, let's make a break for it! <laughs> the horses should be in an alleyway down here! Bro, he really jumped. Get the hell out of Blackwater! Oh my god! There's more of them! Bro! Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm aiming and I'm pulling the trigger, but it's not. Uh, like, it's sometimes it doesn't quite <laughs> shoot. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> man. Marston was like this, man. So long, Professor. So long, sir. This man. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. Great, can we get on with the fucking you know show, please? I think we need to get him before sundown. Couldn't agree better. As Skipping. Let's Count go. Up, man. Let's move out. Come on. And then the whole first part of this mission is missing because the fucking game wanted to act retarded, so. Come on, just drop down and fucking kill yourself. I'm trying to get to where I gotta go. Even the horses are retarded. You know what? I just can't decide what's more retarded than this game. The cops, the horses, or just the game itself. Okay, great. Skip it. Let's go. Come on, boys! Everybody move in! Over there! Up, man! Hold them up! You idiot! Move forward! Ugh! <sighs> 
That's only in one way. Great, let's go anyway. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Hope I get to cut your throat, bitch. That's all I really want to do. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. You're just like me, John. I ain't like you! You can't erase the past, John! Kill and me, it won't make it go away! That's where you're wrong! Again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change, can't fight gravity, we can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see, then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? 
Bro. Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Let's go. Slow it up now. And now I know the only car. No. I'm not here for this fucking song. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. <laughs> Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you've learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Hello, 
Hello, sir. Are you ready? Let's haul out. Come on. I'm not used to riding this hard, Paul. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can... John Marston. Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. So have our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what? Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. You're going to have an important job. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarlane. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. See that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Slow it up now. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Come on. No stopping. Let's go. All right. Now lead them into the pen. Get going. Come on. Move. 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 Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. 
Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. Let's go. Not ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. And that brings us to the end of this video. Go ahead and leave a comment to let me know if you enjoyed, and then also feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that way you're notified when the next upload is added. Other than that, I hope everybody has a good rest of the weekend.